<laughs> Talking about news. Terrible news in the outside world. Terrible. What is it? What does it say? In a village called Urjanka, all the Jews were evicted and forced to leave their homes. For what reason? It doesn't say. Maybe the Tsar wanted their land. Maybe a plague. May the Tsar have his own personal plague. Amen. <laughs> Why don't you ever bring us some good news? I only read it. It was an edict from the authorities. May the authorities start itching in places that they can't reach. Amen. <laughs> Why do you curse them? What good does your cursing do? You stand around and curse and chatter and don't do anything. You'll all chatter your way into the grave. Excuse me, you're not from this village. No. And where are you from? Kiev. I was a student in the university. Uh, Aha! The university! Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? That's where I learned there's more to life than talk. You should know what's going on in the outside world. Why should I break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads. He is right. As the good book says, if you spit in the air, it lands in your face, huh? <laughs> That's nonsense. You can't close your eyes to what's happening in the world. He is right. He's right, and he's right. How can they both be right? And now you are also right. He's right. He's still went behind the ears. Good Sabbath, Tevye. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath, Tevye. Good Sabbath. Tevye, the rabbi's order. My cheese! Of course. So you're from Kiev, friend? Petrick. Petrick. So you're a newcomer here. As Abraham said, I am a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Forgive me. As King David put it, I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. That was also Moses. Well, for a man with a slow tongue, he talked a lot. And the cheese! <laughs> Here. Have a piece. I have no money. And I'm not a beggar. Here. It's a blessing for me to give. Very well. For your sake. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's no crime to be poor. In this world, it is the richer of the criminals. Someday the wealth will be ours. That would be nice. <laughs> if they would agree, I would agree. And who will make this miracle come to pass? People. Ordinary people. Like you? Like me. Nonsense. And until your golden day comes, Red Perchick, how will you live? By giving lessons to children. Do you have children? I have five daughters. Five? Daughters. <laughs> girls should learn too. Girls are people. A radical! I'd be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. What great thoughts? Well, the Bible has many lessons for our time. I am a very poor man. Food? Four lessons? Good. Stay with us for the Sabbath. Of course, we don't eat like kings, but we don't starve either, as the good book says. <laughs> as the good book says, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. And where does the book say that? All right, well, it doesn't exactly say that, but someplace it has something about a chicken. <laughs> good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath.